ox. No good. Go stand over there. I don't know what this country's coming to. I work cheap. You've been in China all this time? As you can see. Is this all your luggage? Yeah, I travel light. Mind if I have a look? to see you, my boy. How are you, Warren? Well, now that you've sown your wild oats, I'll help in any way I can. I'll be all right. Now it's time you settle down. What do you need to a good wife? Thoroughbred filly with an inheritance. <laughs> Is that easy? Of course. Life's simple if you follow the rules. The rules. What if I don't like the rules? Why, then the world will crush you on. There's no future in that, is there? I didn't meet the boat. <laughs> Mais pour père, c'est mon frère. There's an explanation, no doubt. <laughs> you haven't met my charming friend, Mary Therese. Ah, fort bien. Mm. Mary Therese is fresh from the country. <laughs> I want an explanation, George. Explain what? I needed money. <laughs> Grandfather left this house to me. Thought you didn't believe in private property. Then why didn't you sell your farm? I did. <laughs> want a drink? What happened to father's money? George, what happened to his money? The only thing that father left me were bad checks and sour memories. And all the titles he had belonged to Lauren Wilson. Yeah, 
good cousin Lauren had the old man all stringed up and dancing. I had to take care of myself. I didn't know. Well, maybe you didn't want to know. Yay. Yay! George. When I left, you were... just a kid. I'm all grown up now. I'm glad you're back. Oh, boy, am I glad you're back. <laughs> huh? Come on, let's celebrate. Come on! <laughs> you know, you have come back at the perfect time. Why? Why? Hey, look around you. This is prohibition. Montreal is the most exciting city on the continent. I know, American plumbing and French morals. <laughs> you know that Cousin Lauren is now the richest man in town? His only losing schemes were those father was involved with. Oh, come on, you know what they say. The French Canadians have no head for business. <laughs> Not all of them. Not all. <laughs> that guy never gives up. Do you think she's interested in socialism? Et tu communiste? What? No. Communiste de péché? You see? It's up to us to protect her from that foreign shit. <laughs> ah, here we are, the Tango Garden. Come on. It's too smoky in here. Would you like some female company? Mm -hmm. No, thanks. Want me to rise? She won't mind. No. Marie, dance with me. Okay. A bientôt. A bientôt. <laughs> you know what I like about this place? It looks French, it speaks French, I mean, it even smells French, just like us. Your mother's a steward. Mm, she didn't change me. I'm a bobie. Remember the stories grandfather used to tell us? Hmm? They were great stories. You know, every place I've ever been, it's the same. People believe that their piece of earth, that their race, it's special, that it's unique. Well, they aren't, George, and neither are we. That's what Fred Samuel thinks. You're both wrong. Well, let's not spoil a night with politics, right? <laughs> Typewriters. One moment, please. We have been expecting you for weeks. Passage on the right ship was difficult. Is everything ready? Unfortunately. Come, we will not be disturbed.
I have never understood why Westerners have always been devoted to our well-being. My motives are of no concern. They interest me. I was told the weapons would be ready. They're not. I have arranged transport, and there is nothing to transport. The people who can help us do not trust Chinamen. Where can I find them? Deliveries at the rear. Mod Ryan. Oh, what's it about? It's a person. You'll have to to make an appointment. So if if, if you give, give me your name, he he pushed his way in. We'll push him out. Could we talk? What have you got that I want? Money. And what have I got that you want? Information. That could be cheap. Oh, very expensive. I'm in the market for some special items. How special? Machine guns and mortars and grenades. <laughs> Does this look like a gun store? I was told you would be helpful. You were misinformed. Well, it's not a pretty good idea. Who are you? My name is not important. Sorry, you've wasted your time. Why don't you come by some evening as my guest? I'm not a night person. Shame. Bobian. Ted Bobian. Hi, George. I'll think about it. Stay with me, Ted. My luck's changing. I can feel it. There's big money to be made here. Yeah? Doing what? I'll show you. It's the easiest way to start. I have all the contacts. Money's never easy, George. When it is, it's dangerous. This is the land of opportunity. We're just making ours. You and I together are unbeatable. Yeah? Where are you going? Get in. This is ours. Nice car. <laughs> You're damn right. We can do better than this. Anything you want. Just anything at all. City's most famous export. Oh, lucky Montreal. Why lucky? So far from God, but so close to the United States. <laughs> Two hour drive and each trip is worth 2,000 bucks. What about the police? 
police. <laughs> Are you kidding? On this side, they don't care. And on the other side, they like money. It's a competitive business. I'll say. George! <laughs> Who's this? Hey, take it easy, Max. I want you to meet my brother, Ted. Get him out of here. Come on, Max. He and I could work together. I got all the help I need. Besides, you don't look so tough. <laughs> Eats glass for breakfast. Get lost. <laughs> I'll let you know if anything turns up. And you get out of here. If you're going to tell people I eat glass for breakfast, George, they're not going to think I'm tough. You don't think I'm stupid. <laughs> you should ask me before getting me a job. They are the people who need our party as much as our party needs them. Go and get the work done. Are the masses ready to follow you? Of course. They're all getting on the train of history. And the locomotive is gaining speed. Sure. Come on into my office. I've seen you all over town. Why don't you get a job? I like to be a troublemaker. It's the women you like. Because they believe in free love. <laughs> We're having a big rally tomorrow. You're invited. I have a favor to ask. Anything. Good. I need some reliable men. To do what? To help the train go faster. legitimate candidate. And the only one dotting a gun. You'll have a lot of explaining to do. I'll do myself. Well, 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 well. What have we got here? I heard you move to you. I miss the snow. There's no snow in September. I forgot. I thought you'd be retired by now. I'm still young. And prosperous. How do you do it on a policeman's salary? Investments. Smart investments. Really? You don't look like you have a head for business. I warn you. Stay out of trouble. 
remember, your father is no longer around to protect you. When I do business, the people I do business with want to know who they're doing business with. You want to say that again? I know who you are. I know who your father was. But I don't know who you represent. What difference does it make? Money is money. That's not good enough. It will have to be. All I can say is it's an export deal. Two. Oh, please. I'm not going to tell you, and you know it. And if there's a problem? Nothing will go wrong, and you'll be well paid. Let's say $200 to set up the contact. <laughs> what if there's no deal? <laughs> That's the chance you'll have to take. $200. You get the other half when it contacts me. All right. Why don't you come by at night sometime? I think you know my night habits. What's the problem? You don't like me? Well, let's just say that when I do business, I only do business with those I do business with. If you see what I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Board of Governors, I welcome you to this special event. You will be asked to bid on some wonderful donations given by friends of the hospital. Mr. Green will be our auctioneer. Thank you, Senator. I'm pleased to see you together again. Playing your part and our community. I've been hearing some disquieting things about you. I'll do what I have. Be careful, Georgia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special donation. It is Senator Wilson's contribution to our fund drive. This exquisite statue has the title Child with a Star. Now I'm opening the bidding on this piece at five hundred dollars. Six hundred, sir. Six hundred dollars. Thank you. Seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars. Thank you. Any advance? Eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars. Any advance on eight hundred dollars? One thousand dollars from the gentleman who just came in. I'll be damned if he gets it. Any advance on... Ah, thank you, Senator. $1,300. $1,300, Senator. Any advance on $1,300. Some things don't seem to change. Some things need a push to change. Guess what? What? Marie Therese? Come on, seriously. Her name's Rosalind. Oh, Ted, she's so beautiful. I mean, not only that, she's interesting and mysterious. I never knew what she's doing. You like that? Mystery is what makes a woman interesting. <laughs> Do you want to marry this girl? Yeah. Well, what makes you think she'll marry you? Because I'm smart. $8,000. And you're broke, George. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. Long, long. Well, that's encouraging. Thank you, Senator. $8,000. Any advance on $8,000? $9,000? $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000. $9,000.
$9,000. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Senator Wilson. Twelve thousand dollars. Any advance? No. Any advance on twelve thousand dollars? goes to Senator Wilson. Thank you, sir. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Logan. Um, I'd like you to meet my brother, Ted. Ted, this is Mr. Logan. This is his wife. That's Robert in the back. And that's Rosa. I've heard so much about me. Really? What does he say? Oh, how great an adventurer you are. I'm afraid he exaggerates. Well, goodbye, Mr. Beauvier. Tell the senator to enjoy the statue as much as I do. <laughs> goodbye, Mr. Logan. Mrs. Logan. Goodbye, Rosalind. <laughs> they say and it's sad but true the lonely travel longer than most do they travel light like shadows in the night and they're always aware of the danger that's there but a man's gotta do what his destiny leads him to I thought you might come to see me. Where's the match? But tomorrow he'll be gone and he's always aware of the danger that's there. But love hey, tough guy. Let's have a drink, man. man who stands alone and he's always alone. No matter where he goes. Funny how yellow is your man. Ted Bobia. So, I hear you're interested in typewriters. Other accessories? What do you want to do? Start a war? Maybe finish it? You side my money? 50000 for this lot, cash on delivery. One hundred thousand dollars. And I give you a price because you're a friend of mine. Good luck. Hey, what hey, it's not your money. Why you care? I care. Hey, sit down. Please sit down. Then sit, sit, sit. See, I hate the dealing with honest people. Okay, we split the difference, but you pay fifty percent up front. I'll leave the money with Mark. You leave the money with me. But a man's gotta do what his destiny leads him to. It don't matter if the horse is right. 
right or wrong. He'll be here today, but tomorrow. Everything's arranged. <laughs> yes. What do you mean? I'm lucky at games. Get you calm down in a few hours for this, cause I'm trouble. No, I'm going to lose my money. God, I don't I'm going to kill you! I can't stand a sore loser. I'm taking you home. Let go of me, you'll be back selling horse meat! Bitch! Every game here is fixed! Bell! You're just being yourself, Robert. Take him to my car. Children. Who needs them? Ah, shut up. You don't take after our son of the family. Of course not. We're all failures. Crazy? You, out! No. Now! You don't know who you're dealing with! You a friend of the family? Not really. No! No killing! Tell his family we ain't kidding. Come on, father, please! Logan. Sure you do. It's urgent. Come back tomorrow. All right. Take him, I should tell him. Tell him Max's dad. Tell him his son's been kidnapped. Hey, wait. Come back. Come back. Did they hurt him? No, not your son. Oh, thank God. Max is dead, though. There was nothing I could do. Why should you do anything? You're a stranger. What do you care if they kill us all? Go back to bed, Ada. I'll handle this. Go. Now tell me again. What'd they say? They said they wanted you to know they were serious. What about money? There's nothing about money. I can't destroy my business, so they destroy my family. You tell that son of a bitch, Wilson. He's not going to get away with it. I don't know what you're talking about. I came as a favor. You don't want it? Goodbye. You're in it with them. You're in it with them! Wait. He didn't mean it. Do you think I'm involved in it? I don't know. Well, 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 well. 
Every time there's trouble, I find you. Yeah, that's because you're such a good cop. <laughs> what do you know about life? I told you. Your brother works for Rodman. Do you? <laughs> I don't work for anyone. Of course. You were born with a silver spoon up your ass. I'm sorry you grew up poor. It's too bad you grew up stupid. You Reds, you all think that you're so tough. Should have seen Samuel when I got through with him. He wasn't so tough. He didn't feel tough. He didn't feel anything at all. Am I supposed to be scared? Oui. Someone bailed you out. Enjoy your freedom. But next time I'll make sure you keep me company a little longer. Thanks for the hospitality. to remind me. What you were like? <laughs> to be careful. You said I wasn't the dangerous type. No, oh, you're not. It's difficult to decide whether you're a hunter or a predator. What's the difference? Hunters take their time. They do it for the art. Predators are greedy. They do it for hunger. Well, I'm hungry. I'm patient. I'm greedy. Oh, well, what's this? Fight? Jealous one. <laughs> I remember to be careful.
Are these all pistols? Yes, these are close. What about the rest of us? It's all here. Perfect. Each movement predictable. The sound always the same. So much better than life. Don't you think? You haven't answered me. You are asking the impossible. I was told you would supply some of the money. Some, but not what you ask. The guns can be there in a month. It would take six months to raise that sum. It may be too late by then. China has had a long history. It will not come to a stop now. market, but they lost it, and they want it back dearly. Cousin Lauren represents it. Lauren? Yeah. Don't be so shocked. Some of the greatest fortunes are based on booze. Okay. Here's what we can do. We'll buy it, we'll take it to the States, and we'll sell it. And all the profit will be ours. Voila. Voila. How much capital? My three and another three. That's it? That's it. Is China very different from this? Some places, yes. And in others, it's very much like this. It's the people in there. <laughs> Come on. You used to be pretty good with them around here. Did you meet one? Hmm? Yes. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> What's she like? She was French. <laughs> you mean to tell me you travel around the world to meet a French girl? <laughs> We got plenty of them right here. <laughs> you remember in school when we'd collect money to save Chinese souls? Yeah, yeah, I remember. A penny a soul? That's right. How many souls did you save, George? Hmm. I don't know. How many souls did you save? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, then why are you going back? Because it's not their souls that need saving. The country's in the hands of a few rich, supported by foreigners. The rest is misery and starvation. Yeah, but Ted, it doesn't concern you. Nothing's of concern, George, until one tries to understand. 
I don't understand. Mm. You know the French woman I met? She was a doctor. And she'd come to China with others to help the people. They believe in a new China, run by Chinese. Is she waiting for you? No. But it's important to go on. Should we go? China, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be married to my. <laughs> you know, she's the first girl I've ever been serious about. I hope she appreciates that. <laughs> That'll be our truck. I'm going to go in and settle the deal. You want me to go with you? No, no, no. I can handle it. Are you sure? Hey, I know the business. Big shot. <laughs> Wait in the truck. I'll be back in a few minutes. George. It's a beautiful house. It used to be. I'm sorry about George. I was fond of him. He loved you. Yes. You let him on. There never was a chance. My parents wouldn't allow it. You understand. I'm very understanding. Is there any news of your brother? The ransom note came. They want my father to deliver the money. When? I don't know. They may kidnap him. He knows. But there's no choice. 
tell your father that I'll take the money. Why? They might kill you. I'll take the chance. I'm a concern. You shouldn't be. You see, your Chinese friends are telling me you can't pay. You will be paid. The arms will be out in a few days. And if you don't have the money, you lose everything. I mean, everything. Capisce? You'll have your money. You're an honest man, Mr. Povian. But remember, you pay. I deliver. Good night. Avante. Rosalind said you wanted to see me. Why should I listen to you? Give your brother an opportunity. Responsibilities. Even let him flirt with my daughter. Do you know who killed George? I would have been tempted myself. Nobody double crosses me. That shocked you. It's surprising to hear you say it. What do you want? I want to deliver the money. Why? Because I didn't do anything when your son was kidnapped. And because George loved Rosalind. All of that's no reason for me to trust you. I want to be paid if I succeed. Oh, so that's it. My daughter said you were an idealist. Everybody talks ideas. They're all after the same thing. Why should I trust you? Because I'm risking my life. For how much? 10%. It's 10% of half a million. I pay my salesman five. Then ask them. I'll call you when I'm ready. Vincent, Rouge, and Père. Faites vos jeux. Let it all ride on the 26. Les jeux sont faits, rien ne va plus. Vincent, Noir, Père. 
Put it all on the 23. All of it. Les jeux sont faits, rien ne va plus. Vingt-quatre, noir, père. Faites vos jeux. You do me a favor. Tell that yellow I'll have the money for him tomorrow. And I'll pay him a premium. Where are you going to get it? Taking the money to get Logan's son back. That'll be dangerous. You have a gun? Yes. He said no guns. I don't want Robert to get hurt. I get paid. And my business is cash on delivery. You can trust me. I don't have much choice, do I? Yes. 
Set it down. Open it. It's all here. Good. Walk! So long, champ. Robert. What? Go! <laughs> Yes. I I I, I well, got, gotta go, go. Do, do, Where is don't she? don't know. Uh, honest. I'm, tired, I'm she, really tired. She, 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 she didn't tell me. All right. I'll, I'll t t t take you. saying goodbye. I thought you cared for me. I do. Really? You have a funny way of showing it. Why try and kill me? My idea. Who's then? Wilson. you come with me. There's enough for all of us. You can sit down, too. The Loebman kid had no chance. It was his idea. He wanted his inheritance early. Come on, Ma, he's dead. You crossed him. It was my one big score to set me up for life. You had him and Max killed to hurt the old man. Max was bad timing. The old man I've carried around with me like a stone. For what he did to the girl in pigtails. That's right. He showed her that love couldn't exist. When he was a young man, he used to run a hotel. That's what he called it, a hotel. Myers would recruit girls from poor families. He paid my father $14. When he was done with me, I would never love anybody. But that's the past. Now I have all the money I'm ever going to need. What are we going to do with them? We'll leave him here. Wilson can take care of his own problems. You see, darling? Money has already made me a better person. 
more the pity. Close it. Robert was a weak boy, foolish boy. But I couldn't let her get away. You understand that? There were other methods. It's the only way to deal with matters of honor and family. Otherwise, people get ideas. They cheat you. Destroy what you're building. Rosalind will have children. When they're grown, nobody will remember how I made my money. And who knows, you might even be a senator by then, like Wilson. Why didn't you return the money? It's a matter of honor. Honor was something my son didn't understand. He was still young. He was old enough. Why, why, why did she have to kill him? You don't know. You know what? Sir? Excuse me, sir. Can I help you, sir? Sir. Sir, excuse me, sir. Sir, excuse me. I'm sorry, sir. He... It's quite all right, Colin. You know why I'm here? Obviously, to interrupt my lunch. You had George killed. That's a risk you and he took. We can't have everyone horning into the trade. Well, before long, we'll have hundreds of lobans running around the place, taking what belongs to us. Which us? This us, dear boy. We who built this country. We create the customs, enforce the rules. We define taste and impose the fashions. We're defenders of a civilization. Without us, there'd be chaos. Who else should run the world? Loebman? <laughs> Why, my forefathers and yours were pioneers here. And his family was still living in a European ghetto. And we'll still be here when his name is nothing but a memory. Maud's dead. That's so? Yes. It was professionally done. What's the death of that sordid woman got to do with me? Let's just say that you've lost a window on the politics of this city. Think so? I think Logan will take a different view. I think he could be under the impression that you were involved with his son's murder. And to let it pass would be bad business. So you see, Cousin Lauren, I don't have to kill you. Goodbye, Senator. Have a nice lunch.
Okay, time to go. Wait, two. The ship's called Saturn. Everything's ready. Let's go! Fred? Yes? Thank you. Just doing my bit to speed up history. 